beautiful biscuits. Welcome back. I can't tell if you can actually see me because my uh, screen on my camera is not working. But <laughs> yes, my love. Yes, absolutely. Daddy. So we are in Michigan, the upper Midwest, um, looking for a town neighborhood house to move to from Western Washington. And so far we struck out. So we haven't found anything in our price range that is really the right place and house. Um, so we're just gonna have to keep looking. So expect a summer of me talking about moving ideas, but not moving yet, cause it's just not happening. Um, gotta, wait, gotta wait for the right place. I don't wanna push it in a rush, which I did when I did my last move. So I just kind of moved to somewhere that was available instead of really being careful and thoughtful with it. I'm being very intentional with how I'm manifesting this move. Uh, but what do we think of Michigan? Do, do we wanna become Midwesterners, Michiganders? Um, <laughs> we so far, and I'll have Abraham come on. He's actually grabbing something for us. Um, I'll have both kids come on and we'll chat about this. So far, I really like Michigan. So I used to spend a ton of time in uh, Minnesota in the summertime when I lived in Arizona because my ex, um, all of his family and everybody is from the Minnesota, I keep wanting to say Michigan, the Minnesota area. Not yet, almost, we have to wait for brother to come back. I'm gonna grab, see if they have any milk or water downstairs in the lobby. Um, it's so funny that he's old enough now and he wants to exert his independence in ways that I try to keep safe. And he can go down and he can look in the lobby because they have a little tea section service and do these things. And it's, it's so surprising to get to that point of parenthood where you want to keep doing everything for them, but it's a disservice, right? He knows not to wander off with strangers, right? He's totally capable. Nothing? No. Oh, bummer rummer. Okay, well, we're gonna get a lot of sugar in our bodies then because we don't have anything to... <laughs> we are filming the video that you may or may not have already seen. I don't know what order I'm gonna post these in of a great bakery in Holland. Um, but I was already familiar with the upper Midwest and I've road tripped through Michigan a couple times and I've been to Wisconsin several times. So I kind of had a vague reference of what the area was like, but we've spent about a week and a half. It's our last full day here um kind of exploring and seeing what areas we liked if we did like it what did we think and i think it's safe to say that we're okay with becoming michiganders i love the slower safer pace of life and i'm gonna say this and this is gonna be controversial is this still okay i can't tell if this is recording which is very confusing um i'm gonna say something that's gonna be controversial like i know my western washingtonians would be grumpy at me for saying this but it's so refreshing to have clean sidewalks and not have really open paraphernalia use or huge paraphernalia encampments. Um, it makes such a difference. It's just like, you just kind of breathe a little easier. Like, oh, okay. It is almost time to eat that. You have to sit down though. Up here? And yeah, and we have to grab our plate and yeah, but make sure you eat over your plate so you don't make a mess on the hotel sofa. Um, it's really nice. I love that. In fact, I was describing Western Washington to our real estate agent who's helping us. And she's like, what? Are people moving? Because, you know, I, I was not making it sound bad. I was just very sugar-coated in it of why we were moving. And I was like, oh, you know, some, some people are. Some people are sticking out. Um, so I, I like the idea. I love the idea of being a little bit shorter distance flight-wise to some travel destinations that we really want to save up and have some family adventure travel time with. Um, so that's really appealing to me. We aren't too far from the big Chicago airport here. We're like two and a half to three and a half hours away, um, which is a bit more than I like to drive, especially in winter time, but I think it's doable. Um, I think next time we come out, we're gonna have to wait until we can find some better airline tickets. Everything's really expensive looking in the next couple months. So we'll just kind of wait and see and stay in our rental. Um, yes, my love. If Daddy, the sale goes through and everything on our house, which, you know, Daddy. knock on what it does. And it's simple and Daddy, good. <laughs> but, so I think next time we, oh, hold on, somebody needs a dab dab. Um, Abraham, can you grab her a dab dab cloth? Or a dab dab napkin? She won't let anybody help her. So, um, 
I think next time we come here, we're gonna try other locations too. We narrowed it down to basically three towns that we really like in Western, Southwestern, Southwestern-ish Michigan. I'm not sure where the line draws off um, for here because I know that they have different, different views of where everything is. And I think we're gonna expand where we're looking since we really struck out here and there's just, is an inventory. I mean, literally like, what? There were three, three houses maybe that met our criteria, sort of. Um, and then we looked at some other ones that were outside our criteria just to try and get ideas like, oh, well, maybe we would be okay with this. So we're gonna expand where we're looking, but I think we're all, we all really like the idea of Michigan. Here, Abraham, come chat with them. Tell them, what do you think about Michigan? Come over here so that I can chat with you. Cause I can't hold the, we're gonna eat that, but you just ate a cupcake. So give me one second. Hello. Hello. Oh God, nap time. Yeah. This trip has been a bit much for her. Um, and I don't know why, cause we really haven't pushed it hard. We just, you know why we haven't done her regular nap schedule this trip because it's just, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. You're gonna crush all the cupcakes. No, no, ow, ow, don't do that. She's just about to press down on the entire cupcake bin. So what, you can talk to the camera too and come tell them. Pear, what do you think of Michigan? Um, I real quick wanna say, yeah. I think Michigan is whole of hunt places. Don't mind the mess, let's see now. No, no. <laughs> and I think it's great hunt, and can of cake pops and donuts. And honey beaches was the hottest hand you've ever held. I've never held that hot. It's hot to do pillows. It's really good soft sand beaches. We're coming from uh, Pacific Northwest beaches that are all rocks and pebbles and hard. And so there just, you know, aren't a lot of, there are sand beaches, some in Washington, but it's just really rare and not in our, in our area or not easy to get to. Um, no, no, oh, hey. Yeah, I think oh. we like it. Do you think that we should come back and keep house hunting? Like look from afar and if something pops up that we really like, maybe a couple, we come back out? Maybe for a shorter trip? Hmm. We did a week and a half because we really wanted to get an idea of areas. We've been staying in multiple different places. For the first half of the trip, we bopped every night to a new hotel in a new town. And then we've kind of had our main base. We're staying in Holland, like on the outskirts of Holland because we were looking for a bunch of motels. Um, and that kind of put us in between everywhere we were going, so it kind of worked out for driving. And we didn't necessarily want to stay in Grand Rapids because it has a lot of traffic. What do you think, though? Would you come back and look? Hmm. Like, if you could find the Grand Rapids I yard. I would come back and look. I go come back and move. Yeah, I think we really like it. Our whole family is super against this move. They all think that we should stay in Washington and just grind it out financially and struggle because the cost of living there is like, I read it's 43% higher than the national average. <laughs> And, you know, I'm a simple artist and I so appreciate everybody that signs up for Patreon and that orders my romance novels. So much, like every grain of my little molecules appreciates that. But also I don't want to be constantly grinding away, getting burnt out on as, as an artist and a mom because I want to spend time with my kids, right? They need me a lot. And I hate that, you know, staying in Western Washington just means working so much just to get by. And Michigan offers a slightly lower cost of living that lets us like actually spend time together as a family and relax and have downtime. And it's just, it's like a, it's a psychological thing. You know what I mean? Of having mental downtime where you aren't constantly like, oh, what's the cost of this? What's going on here? Um, yeah, I think we're ready to move. Even though our whole relatives are like, stay out, struggle. We'll see you every three months for a holiday, but don't you want to be near us? And we laugh with them and we're like, we only see you every three months. It's okay, we can fly out and see you in a fine amount of time. Um, so we're hoping. I was kind of hoping something would pop up our last day today that we would find would be like the perfect house, but it hasn't so far. So I think the universe wants us to wrap up some loose ends. Um, I still have my glamping business in Washington and I really need to do some stuff to make that a little bit more self-sufficient and just popular because it's a very small little, little side, little side hustle right now. Um, so I think we're going to spend the summer doing that and looking online and then we'll just see like what kind of starts popping up now that we know the towns right we can have a good assessment on that and the real estate our lovely real estate agent heather hi heather in case you watch this i don't know if you know, <laughs> has been super helpful in, in like showing us stuff that maybe wasn't on our like i suggested to see it but encouraging to look outside our framework just to see what we like She's driven all over, like hour here, hour there, hour Dad, there, to look at random places just so that we can get an idea of, you know, where do we want to move? I think we've kind of narrowed it down actually, um, which is great. I didn't know if we would be able to in that short amount of time, but we did kind of go, okay, this is actually kind of a good little spot. Okay, Abraham, 
What's your final verdict on Michigan? Like, if you could sum it up in a phrase or a sentence, how would you describe Michigan? God's town. I think Michiganders would like that. All right, Miss Pear is very grumpy, so she's not going to come in and give her vote yet. But I will see you in the next video. Don't forget, click on over to Patreon. Help support this working artist on our Camp Primal that we're doing this month. Oh my god, having fun with Camp Primal. I felt really burnt out in the spring. Like, I was doing my self-care, but... There's something about this trip and this move that has inspired newness and new manifesting. So we have our new brand new tier just for the ladies. It's the Manifested Mama tier. And I'm slowly adding more content there as people sign up. And it is a woman space only for manifesting. Then we have the rest of the tier so that's for everybody that is Camp Primal. We are kind of having fun vintage camp vibes and working on our, our self-care and our connection to the primal through that. So I'll see you over there.